Music and art have a huge power. Music can very quickly have us bobbing our heads, moving our bodies to the rhythm. It can make us feel understood when we're going through personal struggles, calm us when we're having a stressful day, or instantly transport us back to a specific time or feeling. It can also energize us, can inspire action, make us feel we can achieve more, jump higher, run faster. Uh, it's really a mysterious tool, uh, almost like a magical gift we've been given. There are many wonderful talks and articles that shed light on our growing understanding of these effects. But is music trying to tell us more than that? Music is not only special because of its effect on us. Like the rest of the phenomenal and physical world around us, it might have more to teach us if we pay closer attention. It teaches us important lessons about our relationship to each other. So what can music and the process of creating music and playing music teach us? Maybe it's the importance of harmony, a word used in music to express several notes simultaneously played that produce a pleasing effect, but that also defines a state of agreement and of accord between souls. Maybe it's the importance of a common unified vision that we are all trying to create, without which we can easily fall into chaos, not reaching a coherent and beautiful whole. Or maybe it's the capacity to listen, to quiet our own voice long enough to become aware of others, of what they have to share and contribute, and then to lovingly and humbly add our own voice not to overpower, not to overtake, but to complement, to enrich. Because if we do not develop the capacity to listen, then all the musical knowledge becomes pointless. My musical journey has taken many shapes, but one of my passions has been blending the sounds I've been blessed to encounter into a coherent whole, a musical message of unity and harmony. For a few of my recent songs, I set to music passages that I found inspiring from the Baha'i writings, and I made an open invitation for people around the world to sing along. Uh, what I received as a response was so much more than I could have imagined. I received not only voices singing in unison, as I had originally planned, there were harmonies, guitar, flute, uh, violin, piano, other languages, all wanting to contribute and all wanting to be heard. There are so many beautiful examples of this happening in the world right now, despite the forces that seem to be tearing us apart. Never has it been clear that we're all instruments in this grand symphony of humanity. Yes, we are still learning to listen to each other, to play together, to contribute to a common song. But as we make efforts in this path and as we become active participants in this songwriting process and develop the skills we need, the melodies that will emanate from such a diverse symphony will no doubt make every heart to burst with joy.